our very first day getting to explore Toronto. We got in late last night and stayed at the Monte Carlos Inn and now we just need to find a way to get to our next hotel which is closer to, oh, is it old downtown Toronto? Yeah. So, we'll be exploring from there. You see what there is to see? <laughs> How much do you think this house at 74 McGill Street in Toronto costs? <laughs> I said 800,000. Was I close? Was I close at all? 2 million 150 thousand dollars for this house. Good for you, that's the problem. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, no, but it definitely tastes healthy. It's the ginger. <laughs> yeah, it does kick you a little. Good for your sore throat. <laughs> Good morning from day two in Toronto. So we got this morning, we had breakfast just at the hotel and it was actually really great. And now we're just getting ready to head out for another day. Uh, I think we're starting at going to, what's it called? The aquarium? No, the town, the Toronto sign. Oh, City Hall. City Hall, yeah. where you need to get Krispy Kreme donuts. We've never been to mm -hmm. Chick-fil-A, so we're going there. Um, we're hoping to see the CN Tower, the aquarium, like you said, so it should be a fairly busy day, but a good one at the same time. Um, uh, uh, New City Hall was uh, designed by a Finnish guy. They had 42 countries, entries from 42 countries, and they Proposed the design and the guy from Finland won it. Oh. We've got 420 some people judging the contest. That's kind of crazy. Yeah. But I still think Old City Hall's prettier. <laughs> I agree.
So we're in the path. It's Toronto's 30 kilometers worth of underground walkways. Um, businesses, restaurants, all completely underground that can bring you up anywhere in downtown. This is not what I thought it was going to look like. Yeah, I, I thought, thought it was going to be like sketchy and grungy. Or cement, but no, it's like a shopping mall underground is what it looks like. Yeah. Slight error. Yesterday was Friday and it was much quieter out, whereas this is now what the line to the CN Tower looks like. We may be waiting a little while to get in there. You're my husband. Did you hear that? Yeah. Best fact ever. Tell us more, Katie. Who's back? A relaxed Caitlin. Yeah? That's who's back? Yeah. After all the wedding planning, traveling. Yeah. You're, you're in your, kind of your happy place. Yeah. I'm excited for the aquarium. Yeah? Yeah. What are you hoping to see? A dolphin. A dolphin? Yeah. What else are you hoping to see? Pardon? What else do you want to see? An otter. An otter. Yeah, that might be hard to see there. Huh? Guys at the... Standard time. Yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. What do you hope to see? Here's your interview time now. I want to see the a hammerhead shark. Okay, I feel like that's a good possibility. Yeah. I want to see them like swim over me. Okay. I've had um, manta rays do that before. Yeah. Anything else? And honestly, I'm just excited to like walk through the tunnel. Yeah. Okay. We'll see what happens. Their mouth is on the bottom of their face. What's up there? Their noses? Yeah. Do it again, do it again, do it again. Good job. It's climbing. Yeah. Hey, bud. from the islands and that was quite the adventure home. 
Yeah, we were we were walking around exploring and then got to our hotel. They, thankfully, they let us in. We were uh, just close to their closing time, and then we checked the the time at which the ferry was leaving. So we decided to scurry on down. We would grab a different ferry. The line was already massive. We were nine minutes early. Uh, turns out the ferry ended up being like thirty minutes late, and the lineup was massive, absolutely massive. And we all started loading up, loading up, and they started shutting a gate on, like, Katie and myself. Uh, we had just gotten through, and the security guard started to push us out, and so I kind of grabbed Katie, and we <laughs> snuck past the security guards as they closed the gate. So we were the... There was us, then one last person to actually load the ferry. So we were the very, the very last people. Uh, turns out they have around 850 people on the ferry at max capacity, so... Yeah, we ended up getting home, walked home. Uh, now Buddy's in town, so we're going to go spend a little bit of time with him. It was definitely crazy, but considering they yeah closed a gate Who, on people so they couldn't get through. They so. tried to push us back past the gate to close us out. And mm-hmm. we were like, nope. Yeah, it looked like people were in jail, but thankfully we got home. <laughs> and now we're going for some more food. Simon picked us up, and we are currently at a Korean fried chicken place. We are so excited. Most of the menu is in Korean, and it's uh, 10% off with cash, so you know it's going to be good. (laughs) 